Hey, hey, what is going on YouTube? This is Tylord, and I am finally back again with Let's Play World of Warcraft Project Ascension. This is episode 14, and I am here at the Deepwater Tavern, and it turns out to be a sanctuary in the wetlands. Who would have thought? So I'm over here at the Minithil Harbor. This is the inn at Minithil Harbor, so let's go ahead and talk to Gloran Steelbrow for the quest, the doomed fleet that we need to turn in for the Morbin Fell. A long ass epic quest chain. So, Light Forge Iron is a precious metal, but it sounds like your quest is a dire one. You've come a long way, sister. With luck, you may just find what you seek. So, we need to search the wreckage of the Flying Osprey in the wetlands for some Light Forge Iron, as it turns out. And we've got ourselves uh, a friendly human, allied human right there, Anarian. Hello, sir. I will buff you with some intellect. I will make you. <laughs> that much smarter you know it's funny with arcane intellect every time you buff yourselves with arcane intellect you become uh that much more of a rick and morty fan <laughs> that joke that meme will never get old am i right am i right boys and girls as the cricket noise is, gets louder in the background <laughs> All right, so uh this is the flying osprey and as it turns out we need to search the wreckage of it but there are tons and tons of these bluegill murloc raider mobs that uh, have taken over the wreckage here and it's probably the cause of the crash in the first place so this is a waterlogged chest this chest is waterlogged and it's siding broken uh, many claw marks mar both the inside and outside of the chest as if the murlocs have searched through it and stolen its treasure so we have one uh, light forge ingot we need to gather five more uh, or four more for a total of five uh, before returning to Gloran Steelbrow in... Is that what we have to return to? Yes, before returning to Gloran Steelbrow in the inn in Minithal Harbor. And uh, uh, who would have who guessed that these Bluegill Raiders uh, drop the rest of the ingots? Am I still in combat? Who is attacking me? I am confused. Okay, yes, I'm still in combat. It's being attacked by another one of those pesky Raiders. Uh, so let's actually... Uh, let's finish off uh, let's cast a chain lightning on this guy should finish off this mob the first murloc with lower health so this episode I don't know I'm not too sure what we're gonna be doing other than killing mobs off screen uh, since I last saw you guys I went up I was in Stormwind for a little while I ran through all the uh, all the different class trainers since I did hit level 32 uh, and every even level, you know, we usually learn new ranks for spells. I mean, not every single even level, but new ranks for spells can be learned on even levels. So you just have to kind of figure out, you just have to... Okay, and that guy's going to evade all of our attacks. Very cool, so let's just ignore him. Uh, so you can kind of time... Oh, we've got ourselves a rare elite, boys. You can kind of time when... Oh, and my pet's fallen through the map here. That's not a lot of fun. I'm... What is happening? Why aren't these mobs? Hello? What? 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 I'm so confused. What is happening? Why is this happening? Okay, there, finally. Not a good look. <laughs> Not a good look on this server right now. So we've got a, a level 30 rare elite mob. I actually don't even know if he's rare. It just says is an elite mob. Slud Sludgen. Sludgen. I think it's probably supposed to be like sludgeon, like sludge, but I'm not sure. What was I saying before this? Oh yeah, so I learned up some new ranks for spells, and then uh, I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of this episode after I turn in, you know, the lost ingots, then we have to go back to the wetlands and kill Morbin Fell, but then, or not the wetlands, uh, Duskwood, Darkshire. Uh, but after that, I don't know what I want to do this episode. I could head to a new zone. Um, there was a quest I could pick up in, I believe it was in Stormwind, to go to... Arathi Highlands, and I'm like, oh, Arathi Highlands. I haven't, I don't think I've ever leveled up in Arathi Highlands. I don't think I've ever quested there uh, as an Alliance tune before. Like I've been there plenty of times on the Horde side, but I don't think I've ever been there on the Alliance side. And that's something I definitely want to uh, to try out uh, as we take care of Sludgeon and our pet Bjarn also levels up to. Oh my God, we got a new, we got a new wand, Starfaller. Oh hell yeah, boys. Hell yeah, let's go. We still have to loot two more ingots, though. Those, These two bastards didn't drop them. How fucking rude is that? I'm not dropping these ingots. I'm trying to I'm trying to kill y'all for these damn ingots. You don't want to drop them? Anyway, so what does our pet learn? New 
unlearned swipe rank 2, he learned swipe rank 3, and then learned claw rank 5. But at the same time, also, he did gain another talent points that we will put into boar speed there we go so yes now increases your pets movement speed by 30 percent so now he's much faster much much faster than he was before hell yeah um well let's see what else did he, did sludge and drop so we dropped two two greens and one rare so the rare is starfaller which i think i will equip now bam increases our uh, dps by that much with a wand going from 27 to 32.5 hell yeah and uh we go from dealing nature damage to arcane damage i believe if we're if we're making f stars fall from the sky then yes i believe stars deal arcane damage anyway what was i saying what was this disease he got by the way time between attacks increased by 33 percent that's not very nice anyway we also got these thistle fur uh sandals of frozen wrath and then the Renegade Gauntlets of the Bear, increasing stamina strength. Which, I don't really like that. Even though it has a pretty nice random enchant. And I don't really like those Frozen Wrath slippers either, so... Probably just sell them back, who knows. We need to kill, um... At least one more Murloc, hopefully not like two or so. We actually only have like one more left to kill up here. This guy that evaded us before, this... This selfish bastard. We need one more... Goddamn ingot, why can't we loot it? I don't know. We've killed at least like nine, ten mobs. Is this finally the last one that we need to kill? Yes, it is. Okay, so we had to actually clear out the entire area of these fucking murlocs. Murlocs are so annoying. If you can't tell by the tone in my voice, I really do not like murlocs. God, I hate them. Anyway, let us skirt on back up here. Like so. Skirt! Usually I, I skirt like that when I'm trying to make a quick getaway or if I'm drifting, like if I'm drifting around a corner like this, skirt, just drift right up in here into the deep water tavern and we can go ahead and talk to Galorian Steelbrow here. Turn in these five light forge ingots. The lost ingots, ah, you found them. Now let's get us uh, this light forge iron hammered into something useful, eh? So take the crate of light forge ingots to Grimmond Elmore in Stormwind. Uh, Tapok Slim John. He's uh, related to a very fun quest that I've done many times uh, as a like a level 20 alliance tune. And then I never really level him up past like 30. So this is a 32 as an alliance tune is a big accomplishment for me. Usually around this time, I don't really give a fuck about them anymore. I'm just like, eh, alliance suck. I'm going back to the horde. So let's fly back down to Stormwind. I made my way back up here. Um, most of you guys are probably like, how the hell did you end up in wetlands and Manifil Harbor? Um, off screen obviously I didn't show you guys my journey all the way up here but uh, so I ran back up to Stormwind at the end of the last episode I went to the Dorvan district in the little tram that, that connects Stormwind to Ironforge so I ended up back in Ironforge the deep run tram I believe why can't I actually click inside there we go the, the deep run tram and then I exited Ironforge uh, and silly me and by silly I mean fucking idiot me took these south gate outposts back into Loch Modan. I ended up down fucking here. And then I ran up to Thelsmar, got the flight path there. Then I ran back up here, took the, the north gate pass. This is how you guys probably know I don't play a lot of alliance characters. I took the path on the left. It just led me back in, in, into Dunmoreau and I'm like, oh fuck, I could have just taken this north gate outpost the entire time. I would have ended up here. So you have to take the one on the right, obviously, that leads up to wetlands, to the wetlands. It will lead you, uh, kind of, you kind of have to, it's a weird little path you have to take, because you start way the fuck up here, like the mountaintop, and then you have to kind of wind your way back down outside of, uh, Dun Algaz, and then just follow the road all the way to Minithil Harbor. And in Minithil Harbor, there are actually two boats, like, kind of like flight paths, but instead of flight paths, they're boat paths, and one of them will take you to Aberdeen, I believe, and the other to Theramore Isle, which we actually have to go to possibly this episode even if i do want to uh try and do the missing diplomat quest chain i believe we do have to go to theramore isle and do a couple quests in um what's that zone called to swallow marsh if we wanted to do this long uh, epic quest chain along with finishing off 
uh, the Morbid Fell quest chain as well. So maybe. We'll see. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I'm not going to spare you guys all of my horrible commentary as I fly back down to Stormwind. So I'm going to cut away, and I will meet you guys down there. We can go ahead and, and turn this quest into Grimmond Elmore. I'll be right back. All right, boys and girls, we are here in the Dwarven District of Stormwind. Let's go ahead and talk to Grimand Elmore and uh, turn in this quest, Blessed Arm. How might I apply my craft for you, hero? So we need uh, to give him this crate of Lightforge ingots that we have. That is quite a tell you have in Lightforge Iron. Not for years have I worked with such a metal. It will be an honor to craft with it again. Uh, but we get ahead of ourselves. First, your weapon against Morbent Fell. Uh, here is the weapon against the fiend of which you speak. You're already Ty Lord. Best of luck to you, and I look forward to your tale of glory. Bring Morbid's Bane to Sven in Duskwood. Uh, so this is Morbid's Bane. It's a Helen offhand item. Unique equipped. Removes the protective enchantments around Morbid Fell with a three minute cooldown. And also, we've got a quest giver here showing you the Shylent. Uh, these are, I believe, all she gives are really dungeon quests, and uh, most of them are for Nomergan. And I really do not like Nomergan, and I'm never going to run it on this Let's Play anyway. So, you can forget about that if any of y'all are like, oh, please run Norm Nomergan. I love that dungeon. I, I hate it. I despise it. It's not fun. I've ran through it so many times. I hate it. I hate it with all my guts. So, I'm going to cut away again. And actually, no, before I do that, no, I'm not going to cut away. I lied. I'm a liar, guys. I'm sorry. But sometimes, you know, just sometimes you have to lie to get what you want. And for me, this time, what I want is to turn in the quest, The Missing Diplomat. Uh, so we need to deliver uh, Organ, if you guys remember from a couple episodes ago. Uh, I wasn't sure if I should say Jorgen or Jorgen. So I'm going with Organ. We're delivering Organ's sealed note to Elling Trius in Stormwind City for the missing diplomat quest chain. And from there, we will probably have to head over back into Old Town and head to, I don't know, the SI7 uh, building, lair, castle, keep, whatever you want to call it. So this is Elling Trius, master of cheese and also master of spying and disguise. I don't know. He's more than just a master of cheese. That's just like, that's just like the tip of the iceberg for old Elling Trius. Hello, Tyler. Is there something I can do for you? Perhaps you'd like to try some of our special Trius cheese, or a block of Darnashan blue. No, thank you. Here's a sealed note to Elling. I'm sorry. A letter for me. Well, I'll be. Well, I'll be. Not often you get a delivery that's not a crater barrel when all you do is work. Let's see, uh, what this is about. Looks up, at you while he opens the letter. You look a little tense. You okay? You, Oregon. You old son of a bitch. <laughs> so that's how it's gonna be, huh? Alright, I can deal with that. I hope he finds a twisting nether that much sooner. That goddamn fucking rat ass bastard. I mean, he doesn't say this in the quest text, but it's heavily implied that that's what he's thinking. Here's what's gonna happen, Tylord. I'll start using my contacts here, but you're doing most of the footwork. So we need to give the sealed note to Watcher Bacchus in Duskwood. Alright, so we actually don't have to go to the SI7 building. We have to go to Duskwood, which is exactly where we're going anyway. So let's head on over there. Um... Do I, should I should I fly down there or should I just ride down there? I think it's faster because like if I fly down it'd be to Darkshire, but if if I want to go turn in this quest first, maybe I fly to Sentinel Hill. Let's do that. Let's run around the corner. Uh, I'm gonna cut away. I'm gonna fly down to Sentinel Hill. From there, I'm just gonna run straight across the fields of Westfall, over uh, into Duskwood. Alrighty, gang, we are here at the Hush Bank with Sven Jorgen. Let's go ahead and turn in armed and ready. Hello, Tylord. You haven't been gone that long, but I see a fire in your eyes. I did not see before. Here is Morbin's Bane. Ah, this will be proof against the fiend Morbin Fell. Well done. You are ready. Morbin Fell will fall. So, the follow up, aptly named Morbin Fell, is the last, the final. I don't. I was going to say, like, the fifth and final quest, but I don't know what actually number. A quest this is in the chain it's like number nine the ninth and final quest in the chain of Morbin fell so he hides in his lair the house perched atop the hill to the east overlooking the raven hill cemetery his time in this land is drawing to an end use Morbin's bane against him it will render his protective magics powerless slay him slay him and save us from his wickedness be the instrument of my revenge and a hero of duskwood uh, so this is uh, what we get as a reward. We can get the Night Watch Pantaloons, which will give us plus 8 int, plus 11 spell power. That's pretty good, actually. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty good. Plus 7 Agility Cloak, or the Spark Metal Coif, which is usually like one of the best 
like warrior male headpieces you can get in the early game requires level 20 but I mean you have to be like around level 30 or so to actually do this quest uh, very hard to solo as a warrior um, in vanilla WoW I mean in like Wrath of the Lich King and even Project Ascension it's pretty easy so I don't know let's accept this quest head on up the hill and bam do we actually have to like have this equipped to to use it I think we do so I'll have to try and remember to equip it right before we take on Morbid Fell uh, in, the, in the in the fight. So this is one of the last quests. I think it's like the last quest we have left to do in Duskwood, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we actually, let me check here. I actually don't think, so they changed it. In Cataclysm, they added more talents, so it's like each zone has a specific number of talents you need to complete to get the achievement. But back in Wrath of Lich King, when they when they actually just you know were achievements were just starting to become a thing, uh, they didn't have that yet. So we're actually at 130 of 250 quests completed. Not that it really matters. I just wanted to see if maybe they had added the uh, zone specific for you know Kalimdor Eastern Kingdoms to see how many quests I had done in uh, Duskwood. But it turns out they haven't added them yet, so I don't know. And oh my god, look, I can't fucking see a thing. You can't see a goddamn thing with this fucking purple haze everywhere in the goddamn for we're in the forlorn row we're here in the raven hill cemetery i mean you can't see nothing i want to loot this guy but there are some skeletal raiders that we have to be wary of um there's one inside the house here now so let's actually run in here and um i want to get these guys a little closer together so i can start uh you know casting chain lightning casting holy nova um, and these guys should fall rather quickly. I actually got a new rank of Holy Nova, so it's going to deal a little more damage and uh, heal us for a little bit more than normal. So this is the home of Morbent Fell. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to try and not... I want to aggro the Skeletal Raider, and it turns out we actually also aggroed Morbent Fell as well. Now that's that's a real... I'm not sure how I feel about this, because I'm, I'm frozen in fear now. Um, I don't have the Morbin Spain equipped. I don't know if I can actually even use that. I'm no longer frozen. I don't think I will need to use it. I hope not. Um, I'm getting spammed by... Touch of death. What is that? I'm getting spammed by his stun. Uh, and that's a little annoying, but... I, I don't think we even need it. Like, he's just going to keep stunning me, but because there is such a thing as diminishing returns so that you can't be stun locked forever uh, so each stun debuff is lasting uh, less and less until it's just gonna it's I'm gonna become immune to it eventually uh, which I am now so this is Morbin Fell he's a bit of a pushover as it turns out we didn't even need Morbin's Bane to actually take him down I don't know what this does it removes the protective enchantments around him we didn't need to use that so I mean cool that's him that's it, GG. Uh, we're done in Duskwood. That was it. This is the final quest in Duskwood. Um, this is his room, by the way. So he's got three beds. I don't know why he has three beds. It's only him in here and his skeletal raiders. He's got a nice little lounging gown right there. I guess some nice uh, pieces of art hanging on the wall. Some nice art. So he's only a level 32 elite. I thought maybe possibly he'd be 34, uh, but that wasn't the case. Um, so... Wait, did we not? Oh my god. Do we have to use Morbin Bane on Morbin Fell, kill him, and then return Morbin's Bane to spin? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, well, so I'm going to have to wait for his respawn then. That's nice. I will wait for him to respawn in his bed. I will just be sitting here waiting with my pet. Um, yeah, and then we'll kill him again. So I'm going to cut away now. What a waste. What a waste. Wait, I didn't have to kill him. The first. We ha I should have read the quest text more carefully. We have to use the Morbin's Bane on him and then kill him. We can't just kill him. That would be too easy. We have to use this dumb fucking quest item on him, then kill him, and then we can turn the quest in. So I'm going to cut away. I'm going to actually do this quest again. I have to wait for his response. It's probably going to be like 10 minutes. And then uh, I will meet you back at Sven Jorgen. We can turn that in, then I'll run over to Darkshire, turn in the quest to Watcher Bacchus, and then we will continue on the missing diplomat quest chain to wherever it takes us until I deem the episode long enough to end. Yeah, so that's the plan. Uh, pretty straightforward. See you guys in a couple seconds here. Alrighty, everybody, we are back here with Sven Jorgen, and actually, I should mention, using Morbin's Bane, I guess, 
they but I, I think they changed it because I don't know if in vanilla they made using Morbin's Bane makes Morbin Fell a non elite mob, but it did. Uh, and this is running on a Wrath of the Lich King client, so I'm pretty sure this is just like a change that they did in either Burning Crusade or Wrath of the Lich King. But yeah, so using Morbin's Bane on Morbin Fell uh, removes his protective enchantments and he, it makes him so much easier to kill. It makes him a non elite mob. He only had like 1200 health. And, and me and my pet Bjorn here, uh, freaking, we destroyed him in like two seconds. So let's go ahead and turn this in. Is Morbin Fell defeated? Yes, he is. Morbin Fell has been defeated. The Dark Riders, it's still at large, but a small piece of what, of that which I had hoped beyond hope has come to pass. You have done the impossible, and your deeds will forever live in the legends of Duskwood. Go, Tylord, and perhaps one day fate may bring you back to me. Um, I don't know if, if fate ever does bring us back to Sven Jorgen, but uh, we're going to go ahead and pick up the Nightwatch Pantaloons and the torch of holy flame here and uh, we also became revered with storm one now isn't that isn't that neat that's fun um so now i'm gonna cut away uh and head back over to darkshire actually you know what i think it's faster if i just run back to sentinel hill uh across the river here and then fly back to darkshire that might be a little faster than running all the way back there so let's go ahead and do that i'm gonna cut away i'll meet you i'll meet you all back in uh darkshire Alrighty, everybody, so as we head on out of the road north of Darkshire, we're going to run into Watcher Bacchus. I actually believe he probably patrols from the start of, like, he, he will start in Darkshire and then head on, on along this road that leads out of Darkshire all the way up to probably around the Darkened Bank area or even Manor Mismantle and then head back, turn around, head back down the road. So you just kind of have to run back and forth up this road if you ever want to uh, find him to turn in this quest for the missing diplomat. Uh, not too safe to be traveling about in the woods, Tylord, be careful, and if you see anything suspicious or dangerous, contact the Watcher's me. Bitch, I fucking run the Night Watch. Are you kidding me? I fucking killed Morbin Fell, Morgan Latimer, Stalvan Mismantle. I killed all those bitches. All those goddamn sons of bitches. And you think I'm gonna come to you for help? Nah, no, you're gonna come to me for help. I'm, look at me, I'm the fucking captain of the Night Watch now. So here's the sealed note to watch your back is, oh, Tria sent you, huh? That's a little different. Feel free to fight whatever monstrosities come at you from the darkness. I'm sure you'll, yeah, that's more like it, bitch. That's more fucking like it. So what does my friend need of me on such a gloomy day? D gloomy day? Bitch, look up in the sky, it's fucking nighttime. That's the moon right there. It ain't day, it's nighttime. Defias activity? Well, there's always some activity, even if they keep to themselves, we consider them a threat. So he wants us to find the Defias docket and return it to Watcher Bacchus. And the Defias docket's actually going to be all the way down in Adel's stead. Um, and, <laughs> again, I think it's so much faster if I just fly over to Sentinel Hill, uh, run across the bridge here, and then we can head down to Adel's stead and find the Defias docket for the missing diplomat. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to cut away again. I'm not going to run all the way over there on my mount. I'm just going to fly to Sentinel Hill, run there, run back to Sentinel Hill, fly to Darkshire. I think it's much quicker. I mean, you know, it might and I, it might actually not be quicker. It might be about the exact same time it takes to do all that as it would be to just ride down there on my mount. But I'm not going to do that, okay? I'm lazy. I'm fucking lazy, and I just want to fly there, run there, run back, fly back. Bam, boom, bam, bam. So I'm going to cut away. I will meet you guys down in Adel's stead. Alrighty, everybody. We are here at Adel's stead. And I actually don't know where I'm supposed to be going uh, specifically for this quest, the missing diplomat, to loot the Defias docket. But I'm assuming it's somewhere in this little house over here, this little rundown shanty of a, of a, of a home, of a hut. Uh, and maybe inside there's some sort of uh, chest, and it looks like there is. As I peer inside, it indeed does look like there is a chest there. Um, and with that, we actually level. Oh my gosh. I didn't even realize we were that close to 33. Um, so we leveled up after killing that Defy's Nightblade. There is a Defy's Strongbox here. We don't need a key or anything like that. We can just go ahead and loot the Defy's Docket. And this time around, <laughs> I'm just going to run straight back to Darkshire on my mount. I don't care about no flight path or running back to Sentinel Hill, Westfall, whatever. So we, we've we reached level 33, congrats to us, ding ding dong y'all. Uh, we've gained 61 hit points, 35 mana, a talent essence, and an ability essence. So now we have two ability essences, one talent essence. If I wanted to, I could look through all the talent trees and see if there was something I wanted to pick up. Like uh, for instance, in the Beast Mastery tree, we can go for Intimidation if we wanted to, because that costs two ability essences and one talent essence. Uh, but it's a three second stun. And uh, only has a 45 second cooldown, so that's that's not too shabby, not too shabby if I wanted to pick that up. But other than that, I don't know what I want to get, so 
I'm going to cut away again. I will meet you guys back in uh, Darkshire. We can turn in this quest to uh, Watcher Bacchus. Alrighty, everybody. We were here with Watcher Bacchus just outside of Darkshire in Duskwood. Let's go ahead and turn in the quest, The Missing Diplomat. We are going to return to him the Defy Stocket that we looted down in Adelstead. You're back safe and sound. Couldn't ask for much more than that, could you? Now let's see what we have here. This looks pretty official as far as any Defy documents I've seen, but it could be a dupe just to throw you off track or whatever it is, for whatever it is you're looking for. Whoa, this looks way too complex to be something to, to just lead you astray. I shouldn't even be looking at this stuff. Take it to Trius, and he'll be able to make sense of it. And don't let anyone get in your way. This is bigger than me, and it might be even bigger than him. But we'll see. And do me a favor, Tyler. Don't tell anyone I helped you. If my superiors found out I knew about all this and didn't share it with them, they'd probably hang me. So we need to bring the Defy Stocket back to Elling Trius in Stormwind. Um... So let's do that real quick. I'm going to cut away, uh, and I will head back to Stormwind. We can turn that in, and then from there, I'll probably end off the episode rather than continuing this long quest chain. Uh, that'll have to wait. Um, the end of the quest chain will have to wait until next episode, probably. Anyway, guys, I will meet you guys uh, over with Elling Trius. Alrighty, everybody, here with Elling Trius in the trade district of Stormwind City, the missing diplomat. I see you're back, and in one piece, we both know you're not here for cheese, so let's cut out the pleasantries. Was Bacchus any help, or have you even left for Duskwood yet? Yes, I left, you fucking bitch. Here's the device docket. You doubt, you dare doubt me? I'm fucking Tyler too, bitch. The OG. Yeah, this is an interesting read. Organ and De DeLavey were smart to bring me in on this. Seems the Defias have been trying pretty hard to complete this plan of theirs. Hmm, what's this? Fist? That's a familiar name. Yeah, now I think about it. Dashell. Dashell something. What was his name? Fist. Dashell Stonefist. They call him Fist in some circles, probably on account that he likes to get in brawls. Now go speak to Dashell Stonefist in Stormwind. He's going to be over in Old Town. We can actually do this part of the quest chain. Uh, since it's still here in Stormwind before they send us out somewhere else, I think next we might go to, like, Minithil Harbor, and then from there we might go down to, like, Duswallow Marsh, but for now we can stick in, uh, we can, we can continue this quest chain, um, in Stormwind. I was trying to keep track of how long this episode's gonna be. I want to try and keep them around 30 minutes. It seems like it, even that seems like it's a little bit long, but I think most of you guys don't mind that they're a little bit longer like that as long as they're not like around 40 45 minutes then that's usually when they get to be a little too long now this quest i'm not sure if this quest is is the one where uh we have to fight off like three mobs at once i think it might be um i actually took the wrong way here i'm gonna have to go all the way around this back alley here we are so there's old beasley here and uh someone else lenny fingers mccoy and Dechelle Stonefist. So we're gonna talk to him, and he's gonna he's gonna become aggro, uh, attack us on sight. What? You came into my alley and asked questions about my personal business, business which you obviously have nothing to do with. Uh, yeah, you're obviously not the smartest hero to come to Stormwind, but you're about to become one of the dumbest to never leave. Have you met me, friends? So they all come aggro. Actually, yep, there they are. There's some old thugs here. Uh, and we all we have to do is defeat Dechelle Stonefist in a duel. Uh, and then these old town thugs become, well, they're still here and they're still aggroing us, but they're green now. It's okay, boys. Back up. You've done enough. I'll meet up with you later. Uh, so then they despawn and uh, we have defeated Dechelle Stonefist in a duel. Duel to the death. Although not really because he's still alive. So you came to me for a reason. What is it you need? Oh, gee. Now you now you want to talk. Now you're nice and friendly. You couldn't have done this from the start. You had, you had to make me beat you to a pulp first. Uh, so yeah, uh, I might know something about the meeting at Adelstead. Happened a few weeks back, I think. I really didn't have any part in it. Me part was done when Plan A failed. Damn adventurers. The guy we got in the inside for Plan B came out of Minithil. Guy called Slim. That's all I know regarding their backup plan. So now we need to report back to Ellingtrius and Stormwind. For some reason, I thought Old Beasley and uh, Linny Fingers McCoy. Uh, very <laughs> Linny Fingers McCoy is very no well known around uh, the ladies here of Stormwind. Um, for some reason, I thought those two NPCs were the ones that we uh, had to attack. But as it turns out, two Old Town thugs spawn in, and we had to take care of them first. Um, but not really. We, we, you can kind of just ignore those two thugs and take care of Dechel Stonefist, and then they'll despawn eventually. So that's, uh, what is it, Stephanie Turner? Uh, what is the purpose of her? I don't know. Why is she there? For some, for some reason, I thought I read Sophie Turner, and that's the actress who plays, uh, 
Princess Sansa. Lady Sansa Stark on Game of Thrones. So here's uh, the missing diplomat. Good to see you still alive, Tyler. So it went well with the Sheldon, huh? I've been reading up more on his plan of theirs. And although it doesn't state the name of the diplomat they're at, that they were after, it does talk about this plan B they enacted after failing on their first attempt to capture him. Uh, so this slim blah blah blah. So speak to Mikhail in the wetlands a contact of mine retired in the wetlands at the harbor city of Minithil He should be willing to help you on your word alone if you tell him you're working for me His name is Mikhail. He mentioned becoming a bartender before leaving Stormwind a few years ago So let's accept that quest, but we're actually not gonna have time to do it That's all the time we have this episode like I said earlier I just wanted to finish the quest here in Stormwind before we head on out to, say, Minithil Harbor, and then over to Darswala Marsh, and blah blah blah, and then we can finish this quest chain next episode, and we get a nice little ring um, to start that episode, so that's nice. Um, so actually, off screen, I think I did equip these new Night Watch Pantaloons and the Torch of the Holy Flame in place of the shield I had because of the spell power mostly, so now I have 25 bonus spell damage, so that's pretty good, right? I think at this point in the game... I'd rather have spell power than uh, like spirit and armor uh, at level 30. What am I 33 now? Gosh, we're so we're so we're so high. We're getting so high in levels. Yay! Um, yeah, so that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Hope you guys are enjoying this series as well. And uh, until next time, as always, I hope y'all stay classy and peace out.